What's up YouTube, Maggie Tutorials here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up CG Miner to start mining Litecoins or actually any cryptocurrency besides Bitcoins such as Dogecoins which are actually um, probably going to be a little bit profitable especially since the difficulty is down compared to Litecoins. Whatever you're going to do, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have an AMD card. NVIDIA cards are worthless. They will use up way too much energy produce way too much heat not profitable at all and then the second thing you need to do is if you know you have an amd card you need to go to this link in the description of the mining hardware comparison find your gpu in my case it is the 7770 and figure out what your kill hashes a second are going to be a hash is the amount of information a computer can produce it's a little bit hard to explain but basically a kill hash a second is the amount of information that you can mine to then produce litecoins in my case my low end graphics card can produce 143 kill hashes a second so if yours is you know over 150 or maybe 120 and especially if you're not going to be like paying for electricity or overclocking or you're in a very hot area then you'll probably have some profitability um, if you have something like a 290x then you're probably gonna have something like over 600 kilo hashes a second basically the higher the better 700 is a pretty good range as you can see the 7990 is 1300 which is very high so just look on here and figure out what approximate kilo hashes you're gonna get this is not exact this isn't for every single card but just figure it out the next thing you're going to need is the Litecoin wallet. Basically, this is your bank account. Um, you're going to need a pool, which is kind of like where you work. So let's say you you have worked for your job. You have obviously been doing paperwork or whatever you're doing, and the company now owes you money, you know, whatever for 30 days that you have worked. They have your money, which is your pool, the, the job has your money, and then at the end of the 30 days, it will be transferred to your bank account or you'll be given a check which you can put in your bank, and the Litecoin wallet is kind of like your bank, so now you can do whatever you want with that money. Yes, you had that money, but you couldn't do anything you wanted with that money. So you will need to download this wallet for you know Windows, Mac, or Linux or you can get the source code on github the next thing you're going to need is the miner itself this uses your graphics card to do mathematical operations and you can use a few other programs like gui miner which has a nice gui interface but it doesn't work this very well and this is actually really easy to figure out once you kind of know what you're doing so go to the link in the description for cg miner download Scroll down to 3.7, click on it, and I would recommend 3.7.2 Windows.zip. Now, there is another link down below. Uh, when you download this or when you extract the zip, there will probably be a notification for an antivirus saying that uh, it's quarantined or it's been, you know, virus detected. And here's an article uh, that you can read. Basically, people that have made Trojans will put this in there so that they can get uh, people to mine for them, thus using up their computer, kind of like a zombie computer. And so antiviruses are detecting this as a virus. But CG Miner itself, if you download it from this website, it is not a virus. The final thing you're going to need is a pool. This is where you work. You can mine by yourself, but that's not as profitable, and this can really help. As you can see, all the statistics, you can usually chat, uh, get some help, figure out the difficulty, all sorts of things. It won't look like this, um, mostly because I'm already logged in, but just make an account. You know, they got some help right here. Uh, sign up, use your email. You're going to have to put in a PIN. You want to write all your stuff down, write your email username your password and your pin down you're gonna need all of those all the time after you have logged in then you need to go over to usually on the left side depending on what the website looks like and click my workers now right here you need to type in a username and a password for your worker so in my case I put in MGT and MGT1 these passwords don't matter if anyone knows this it, you can't do anything with it you can't get their light coins or anything uh, this is what's going to go into your CG miner so that CG miner knows that when it has done some mathematical operations to send it to your pool or your workplace so that it can then convert those into Litecoins which will then go into your wallet. 
you can make as many workers as you need if you have separate computers I would recommend them being short like this so that you can easily edit them or change them for whatever reason you can also choose to monitor them you can see their killer hashes and their difficulty right here or delete them you can see if they're active this all depends on the website but most pools look like this they're just using some sort of default theme after that most likely go over to get started and right here uh, this is where you configure your miner you need to know the stratum this is basically the IP to send it to the pool you also need the port and then your username and uh, worker username and worker password the ones that we just made uh, right before this so keep this up go into your CG miner that you extracted it's probably in two folders down and you should see quite a few files uh, don't click the exe you can but every time you do it you'll have to enter in your details and what you want to do is open up notepad and now I have already made my script this is basically what tells my GPU what to do and where to send the information and right here pretty much no matter what you have you're gonna want to put in set x gpu max allocation percent and objects one so just put that right there and then this is where it will kind of depend on what your pool is so let's paste this in and i'll discuss each thing up to about here is okay but right past here is where you're going to need to change some stuff so if you drag notepad to the side and you look at your pool as you can see these are not the same uh, stratums so i need to change that so just copy and paste go back into the notepad and replace whatever might be wrong and right here is this is the username and this is not correct because I have a different username on this pool so I need to do mg tutorials and then a period and then the worker name that we just looked at so dot mgt this is the password it was mgt1 and right here this is the intensity basically it's how much uh, it's going to use your GPU. Well, since we allocated 100%, it's going to use the max amount of GPU as possible. But sometimes, if you bump this up, you can get a little bit more kill hashes out of it. But it does make your computer slower the higher you go. If you put it on like five, you you might get 20 hashes or something. Uh, but if I put it on 12, I get just about 140. I'm not overclocking, but this is the uh, gigahertz edition of the 7770. Now right here, this is, I'm not exactly sure what this is, uh, but sometimes if you're having issues, just change that to two. If you put it on two and you're having issues, change it to one. So it's kind of has to do with your GPU. Not exactly sure how to explain it. Just leave dash W at 256. Um, if you're having really bad issues, go find some chat and see if they can help you because they probably know a lot more than me about this stuff. The thread concurrency, uh, this is, just has to do with your GPU. In my case, it was 8,000, but what I actually find to be very helpful is to delete this last part or, well, cut it. You should probably save in your clipboard um, and just leave it, and I'll show you what to do in a second. Now what you want to do is just save as, go to where you put your CG miner right here you need to drop down save as type and choose all files and then type in start miner.bat make sure the s and m are capital then click save and now when you go into the folder you should see a start miner.bat now this is associated to the .exe basically every time you launch the b the bat file it will read over to the cg miner so that you don't have to enter in your information every time and you can experiment around with it and change it really easily so let's just double click it it should open up a cmd prompt and just wait a little bit it has to kind of set up sometimes if it doesn't work just quit it and turn it back on again it looks like it's gonna work yep okay so this is what it should kind of look like it's going to load up your hashes right here um, up at the top it shows when it started the five second is basically it's just kind of reading what your GPU is doing for the past five seconds the average is what you really want to look at and I don't know exactly what a lot of these are and a lot of it doesn't matter but one of the main things that you do need to look for is HW this is hardware errors it should be zero if it's not zero you need to do something now here you can see the connected to as you can see it's the same as down here ltc.drillbit.me and the diff the difficulty is 15 this has to do with your actual user not the difficulty of whatever cryptocurrency you are mining obviously it says the correct username and uh, worker username here's the difficulty of the actual 
uh, cryptocurrency itself, which is 3.93k right now. And you can see when the block started and the best share. And right here, you can press P on your keyboard to change the pool management, so your worker username and stuff like that. GPU management, uh, you can change settings, display options, and quit. Don't press the X button when you want to end this, just press Q because otherwise it doesn't really like that, kind of locks up. GPU zero, uh, this is if you have more than one GPU, I don't, but you know some people have 10. And this will have your uh, temperatures, your fan speed, that has to do with specific cards. Since I don't have another, I can't really tell you. And right here is the intensity, it should be 12. You know, like I put it in right there, it should be 12. Right here, this is just your information. As you can see, it uh, probed for a live pool. It found a pool, it got the difficulty, it accepted the work. And as you can see, GPU zero, that is, you know, my, my only GPU. It will then detect a new block if it's, uh, if the pool is down or your internet's down. It'll start rejecting work or it'll try probing for an alive pool. It will not auto quit. So if you're leaving this on during the night, like, you know, you normally would, it could just be running and using up resources and not actually doing anything. So make sure you have a, uh, active internet connection that does not drop out and make sure you find a reliable pool sometimes even if the website itself goes down for the pool you can still mine because they have backup services so that's pretty cool all right now I can just press Q it should say shut down signal received and quit now if I go back into my Explorer as you can see there's a dot bin file right here and you don't really need to worry too much about this, but right here is 6016, and that is what you should probably put in for your thread concurrency. Now, for some reason, every time I do this without the thread concurrency, I get 6016, but I found out that if I put in 8000, I get like 20 more kilo hashes without having to turn the intensity up to, I think, 15 or something, which made my computer extremely slow. So you kind of just have to experiment around. It's not going to break your graphics card unless you're overclocking. Uh, this dash T, it just kind of runs CG Miner in a more informative format so you can see any sort of errors that are going on. So that's nice if you're having problems, but that's usually not necessary. So you can just leave this here and just save it, run it, see if it's going. And if it's not, just start changing this stuff. Usually you can find some help online. If you open up your miner and it looks like it's going all fine and your computer has now not really liked your GPU because it's blasting at 100% um, and everything seems to be running fine except for the fact that now you can see my kilo hash is, is like 100 times less or 100 less than it was just before. This is sometimes a problem um, just with CG miner so sometimes you can just quit it and restart it. But what I found to be very often the problem is the drivers for the graphics card. I will, uh, let's say mine, and then I want to play a game, which you shouldn't do the same thing at once because your game will get maybe 5 FPS. So I quit it, I go play the game, and then I turn this back on and it'll be at about 53 kilo hashes. What I found out I have to do is either restart my computer or go into device manager and go to display drivers right click disable and re-enable it's kind of a pain and this is why it's nice to have a dedicated computer for doing this but since i don't i kind of have to do this every once in a while it's just whatever your choice if you want to restart or not all right now to the final part of actually getting your light coins or whatever currency you are running you need to open up your wallet that you downloaded it should open up like this or something similar and it's gonna have to download the blocks that uh, you haven't had before sometimes they allow a torrent in bitcoins case it's like nine gigabytes of blocks uh, but Litecoin isn't that bad and a lot of the smaller currencies aren't that bad right here this is what your wallet should look like except for the fact that you shouldn't have a balance or recent transactions your send this is where you can send light coins to people if you're gonna you know get a payment get it converted into uh, US dollars receive this is where your addresses are you can make as many addresses as well as you want and you can label them differently your transactions is where you've done stuff your addresses if you are constantly sending someone money you can do that 
Now, what you probably want to do is if you're on multiple pools because you can't make a backup pool in your uh, file that I was just editing. So in my case, I have Drillbit and Hash Faster. This is Drillbit. And what you want to do is go into Edit Account. And right here, your payment address, you want to uh, copy whatever your address is and put it right here in your payment address. Otherwise, you won't be able to get paid. You can usually change your automatic payout threshold so once you hit that amount of light coins that are in your uh, pool account it will automatically pay out to Litecoin and you should have some unconfirmed or in your balance it'll also show the transaction on the right and this is where your pin comes in handy you need to edit your pin every time you update your account you can choose a donation percentage usually all this has to do with the specific pool but I find that a lot of pools pretty much look the same so that's about it of how to set up CG miner for mining cryptocurrencies thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up I have donated for Litecoins in the description below and if you want more videos subscribe